We are in the Northwoods and we are back at Winman. What else is new? Actually a lot. Oh. Welcome back everybody. I'm JT the Dusty Dutchman. I'm Aaron aka Fruit Punch. And we are on the road. Again. If you follow the Windman trails on social media then you've seen a ton of progression taking place out there. There's trails being rerouted, rebuilt, reopened, and others that are completely brand new. This is phase two of a project designed to create a completely unique outdoor experience. So we made the five hour trip north so that we could experience it firsthand. We're gonna start on uh, Windman 1. So this used to be the yellow trail. Now it's called Windman 1. And we're gonna take this to Flowage. I can't remember what this cutoff used to be off the yellow trail, but now it's Windman 1 and this is uh, Flowage. Flow it. One thing I really like about Windman is how easy it is to navigate. Even as a, a new rider out here, if you've never been here before, you can show up. You don't need trail forks. You don't need any kind of supplementary uh, maps because everything's marked really well, which I really like. It takes some of the stress out. You can just concentrate on riding. One area that has seen a whole lot of work um, is what they call the stadium, which is part used to be part of the Green Trail. Now it is part of Windman One, and they have creamed up some tasty berms out here. They used to be good. Now <laughs> they're great. Yeah. Wow, you are kicking it up. Yeah, those work well. We've got Ryan, Christian, Christian. Cal. Cal. These are these are some of the guys out here putting in the putting in the man hours, it's a slinging work, slinging yeah. shovels and the clouds and getting getting stuff ready for for guys yeah. like me and me and Fruit Punch and everybody else. So, if you see these guys out on the trail, make sure you thank them because it's hot out here. This is not easy work. It's you not guys, easy work, but it's rewarding. You guys are killing it. Appreciate your hard work. We love it. So this is the new hub. They put some work in here, so you can get send it from here. Do twins from here. The red trail is open again, which I don't think I've ever ridden. If you're not familiar with what a hub design is like, it's basically like a roundabout, but for bike trails. So you get on the hub and then you just take whichever trail off of the hub you would like, which is really convenient. Here we go, send it.
this is the new climbing trail. It's right from right by the chalet. Uh, it's called Earn It. It is 0.4 miles. Goes by pretty quick. Ripping. All right, we just took the climbing trail up, and now we're gonna hit the red trail. Red which, trail. Um, I've definitely never done the red trail before. That's yeah, just yeah. recently reopened as of last week. So, are you a skilled rider? Like a lot of rolls or sense, whichever you prefer. Nothing worse than coming home with a dirty bike from a bike trip. So Whitman Trails has this new bike wash that's super easy to get to, easy to use, and sends you home clean. people, but even at 300 miles away, this place always feels like home. On top of that, this team's commitment to continuous improvement makes every experience at Women unique. And is yet another reminder that if you get outside and get on your bike, good things will happen. Great Berm is just real kind of banky, flowy entrance. X marks the spot. <laughs> you really kind of just. Oh, the hips. Oh. And you just. Yeah. Right there is where you. So, how do you know, like, when you've done it right? You're going to want to see some, uh, some shrapy marks in the berm. Otherwise, one way to know you did it right, you're on your way to the next one. <laughs> <laughs>